For this assignment, the application that we're going to use in your Google Workspace is not going to be your Google Draw, but we are going to use Google Slides. And I know you've probably used Google Slides before, and that's all great, but this lesson is going to focus on some of the important techniques in making your presentation even better when you are presenting it to your audience. What little tricks that you can do that make your slide presentation visually appealing. So to get started, the first thing we want to do is, of course, look at the example. Here's the example that you're going to create. It's going to have, you're going to have to have a title with your name on it, and you can call it Four Seasons. You'll have a slide for spring, and you'll have a picture. Notice the picture is set up as a background. You're going to have a slide for summer. You're going to have a slide for autumn and winter. Now this last slide, don't worry about this one, it's not even very well done, but a true slideshow presentation should have, just like any work done, credit given to those people that did all of the work, taking those pictures or whatever. So just know that for your slide, you do not have to do a work cited, but you are going to create four seasons and then a title. It's really pretty simple, it's just a matter of learning how to use all the resources. So, before you get started, this PDF, this document here, you're going to want to look through this and find four that may be of interest to you. And if you're working in class and have that paper copy in front of you, what you might want to do is just write down four that you like. So maybe for autumn, I really like the Henny Penny. And notice it does look a lot like an autumn font. And then maybe for winter, I could look at this and say that Griffey is pretty cool. So maybe I would just take a little note, write that down so I can remember that one. And um, I, in the spring, I like that simplicity of the indie flower for spring. Um, and then maybe for the last one, a summer font. Um, I like the last one, that Z-E-Y-A-D-A. -A. It's pretty smooth. So I'm gonna just kind of jot those down. Now there's some fun facts down here, but please know when you are given written things to read, you should probably take some time to read through those. They will likely be test, test materials. So you'll wanna make sure when we give you the resources, you take the time to look that over to prepare for any tests. And it's also just really good information to know that's presented to you. All right, so let's look at what we need to do next. You already know we don't, we have our checklist here, which is fine, you can use that one, but we have to add our assignment in here. This time we are adding a slide. And again, once you do that, it's going to name it with your name on it, which is awesome. That is your task four. What I would suggest you do is when you open this one, you're gonna have your first slide here. You're gonna edit the title slide. Um, so I would put your title in here, your four seasons. And then on this one, remember your name, not my name. Make sure you're spelling correctly. Make sure you're using the correct mechanics because your teachers want to see that you are doing a great job with this. Don't worry about doing any background on this for now. But what I'd like you to do is in these notes right here, this is gonna save you some time. I'm gonna put what I wrote down. My Henny Penny is for my, um, was for my fall. And then maybe I did Griffey for winter. And if you have it right here, you don't have to go looking around for those fonts or however you want. This is just kind of one way that I might do this. Indie flower was for spring. Nobody's gonna see this but you. And then this Z-E-Y-A-D-A -A was my summer. And I'm just kind of talking and doing this at the same time. But we don't always take advantage of these notes down here. And I wanna make sure you know those notes are a great place to help you to manage using your apps, the various apps that you're doing. All right, let's look at this. So we've got our title slide. Um, we've added our notes. From the menu, I want you to go to slide. And on your slide, I want you to go to new slide. 
and then edit this one to blank. So when we go to, um, let's see here a second. It's been a while since I've done this from slide. Click, click back here. And maybe I don't have that one on there anymore. Well, anyway, we can go ahead and just take these out. We've got some other ways to do this, but for now, let's just go ahead and delete these. We want this to be a blank slide, okay? So from here, we're going to duplicate this one Command D, so we want four blank slides. So one, two, three, four blank slides. All right, that's all. We wanna make sure that it's blank. We don't have, want any text boxes on there. You can go ahead and close this tab. We've got this all set up for now, but now we're gonna go out and we're gonna actually get our resources. So this is an example here. We've got spring, we've got an image as a background, we have autumn and then we have the two left to finish. All right, so if you wanna do that, come on back. We're gonna get started on the next step is task five. You're gonna do a new tab here, and we're gonna to go to unsplash.com. And this is wonderful. You're not gonna get, a, you're gonna have so many cool things that you could find in here, but we really just want you to look for four seasons. Now think about finding at least two images for each season. That way, if you find it at something that you might like better, you know, you can, you can decide how you want to, what ones you want to put in there. Um, notice the difference between the free, just like we did with the Icons 8, you only want to use the free. I stock are not free. So I'm going to give you an example. Let's say I want to do a uh, leaves. Let's say I just type in leaves because I'm going to use this one for my fall picture. This I stock, these are going to cost to use these, but the ones that are down here are free. Now you also want to remember your slideshow is wider as opposed to taller. So you're going to want to find a picture that is in landscape orientation or it's wider as opposed to portrait, like this one that is taller as opposed to wider. You're gonna to need to know that vocabulary word, those vocabulary words, and it is in your task six, landscape is wider, portrait is tall. You're gonna look for pictures, you're gonna look for pictures that are wider. So find two pictures. Maybe I'm going to use one for leaves. And again, this one's these are these are um, pictures that I'd want. Once you find your picture you want, this one is an eye stock. I don't want that one. So make sure again. Remember, you're not going to eye stock. You're getting free ones. This one here would be free. I can go to download and click on download here. We shouldn't have to even log in. There's your opportunity to say thank you. Hmm. And there is my picture. If I were to click on this one in the downloads, I would be able to open it. There's my picture. So you don't even have to join that account, but you do need to kind of navigate around to make sure you're getting the free pictures. So for this task, you're simply gonna go out and find those pictures. So maybe if I wanted to do summer, if I wanted to do something with summer, you decide what it is you like in the summer if you wanted a beach scene. This one is wider as opposed to taller. This one would actually be a really nice one. I'm gonna go to my download, get those pictures, and then come on back and I'm gonna show you a trick on how to edit these into your slideshow, okay? All right. What we're gonna do now is you're gonna go back to your assignment and you have it right here in your Google Slides. We're gonna go ahead and click on one of those blank slides and we're going to change the background. We're gonna choose an image and you're probably gonna to have to upload it because it downloaded it. It's not in your photos this time. You're gonna choose a file. 
So you're gonna choose a file. Now, mine was is right here. I'm not sure where yours is going to be, but that is one of mine. You're gonna to have to look for that. We're really not gonna spend a lot of time talking about how best to find those pictures. But what I want you to do is get those images that you selected. You're gonna choose background. We don't want the picture to just be loosely on the slide. We're gonna choose our image, upload, browse again. You're gonna choose it from a file. And let's see, those are my sunglasses. Let's see if I can find another one here. These would be some examples of some of those pictures I saved in the download. This is why it's so important to be really good at your file management so you can find all of your pictures. But your iPads make it super easy to do that. All right, go find those pictures. Bring those in as, as your backgrounds. You should have four nice pictures. Come on back and we're going to talk about that word art in task eight. All right, you're gonna to wanna to arrange your slides in the order that's your most favorite season versus your least favorite. So my favorite would be spring, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do this one for summer. Now, my summer slide, this one's gonna be really simple. We've already done the word art insert. We're gonna do a word art, but this time, remember, we have to use the font that we saved up here. So my Summer was this Z-E-Y-A-D-A. -A. So let's see if I can find that font. Insert word art, and I'm gonna type summer, and it's gonna drop it right here, but this time I'm gonna change that font, and I'm gonna do more fonts, and I'm gonna type in here Z-E-Y-A-D-A. -A. And the beauty of this is once you drop these in there, they're gonna stay in your profile so you'll have those seasonal fonts. Now, move this font so that it shows up really well on your picture, all right? So you're gonna do simply four different fonts. You can change the color if you want, but you don't have to. The white with black trim will look beautiful. All right, you can edit, move it around however you want. Okay, I think that's about all you have to do. I tell you in task nine to make sure you review those fun facts in that document. I already showed you where that was. There will probably be a test question, maybe even two that comes from that. You know how to reflect, you know how to turn in. Always tell me something you learned. Maybe it was something from that fun fact. This is your assignment 1.3, learning how to use Unsplash for some beautiful images.